Assalamu alaikum, Oman. This beautiful country is a dream come true for travelers. The history, the culture, the food. Oh man, the food. I'm like drooling over here. In this documentary, I'm taking you to Sur, a gorgeous seaport on the eastern tip of Oman. This place is famous for its shipbuilding and cultural heritage, but it's so much more than that. It's one of the best cities in Oman to eat. Lobster, kingfish, calamari, mussels, grouper. Oh my god, this city is seafood heaven. Let's go to Sur Oman. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from the beautiful desert of Sharkia in Oman. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to take you on a 24 hour experience in the desert. Right now we're driving in. We just drove two and a half hours from Muscat to this spot. This is the beginning, right? Over here we have huge sand dunes. I mean, it's a sea of dunes. Over here to the right, we have a few wild camels, really incredible. And then from here, we're gonna drive deeper in. We're gonna meet with our guide. He's a Bedouin guide. He's gonna make us our lunch. We're gonna go on a desert safari. After that, we're gonna set up our campsite and it's gonna be an incredible experience. I am so pumped. I am ready. Very excited. Are you hot yet? Yeah, man, I'm super hot. <laughs> So how many times have you done this? I've done this a lot in my lifetime. I can't count, man. Like, I come here often, and it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful drive. A lot of experiences to, to take place over here. As I mentioned, two and a half hours drive from Muscat. On the way out of Muscat, you can see all the mountains. Once you get about an hour 40 out, you start to see the sand. And then once you get to here, you see the dunes. This is like, dude, it's beautiful. Can't wait. Can't wait, let's go. So the best time to come here is during winter, to be honest, and the summer is way too hot. In November, towards the end of November, December, January, and February is a perfect time. You're, it's like, the weather is 29 degrees Celsius right now. That's doable in the desert for midday, yeah? Um, in the summer, it's 50 degrees, man. Like, wow, yeah, 50 night. degrees. Yeah. Watch out for tonight though, it's gonna get super cold, like below 10 degrees. So remember, pack a bag, bring a sweater. I brought a sweater just in case, because I know how it gets in the desert, you know, super hot during the day, super cold at night, and yeah, oh wow, look, look, camels, camels right there. There's more camels right there, look at them right there. I'm from Miami. I never saw a camel in my life until I went to Morocco. <laughs> so this is, and by the way, in Morocco, I went to the Sahara, I slept one day out there. Nice. Amazing. That's amazing. And I actually got to the dunes at night, so when I woke up, it was a surprise, you know? You oh, go. look at this guy. Passing up. <sighs> Look how beautiful that guy is. All right, we need to deflate the tires, otherwise we're not going to make it to the desert. Like this is as far as we go with normal tire pressure. So uh, currently it's almost 35 psi. We get it down to 18. As you guys have never been to the desert, this is what you have to do every time you go, and you can't go with tires that are completely full because you will get stuck. You good? I'm fine, bro. <laughs> he slept the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to help now. Make this faster. Oh, it is so hot out here right now. It's already noon. It's boiling. Woo! I'm using a pen. <laughs> That's different. Almost there? Yeah. Two done, two to go. Woo! Dude, it's so hot right now. What is it? 40 already? Yeah, it's like. 20 something, it's not even. 20 something? Yeah, but like the sun. I know, I know. Yeah. The sun right on top. All right, David, we're ready. Let's go. Let's go. That was quick. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. And hot. <laughs> but well, like, it's literally noon. Yeah. Yeah, so. It's the hottest time of day. It's, yeah, exactly. It's gonna get a bit chillier, a bit nicer, a lot colder at night. Oh, man, what are we doing? Dude, we're going up there. Check it out. We're going up the dunes, straight up, and what we have to do is to find a trail, right? Wherever yeah. other cars have already done it, right? Yep. Oh, here we go. Last time I did this, I was in Qatar. That was wild. Look at that, guys. Beautiful dunes. And what do we have up here? Like uh, another camp? Yeah. This is intense. All I see is white dunes. Well, we are gonna get stuck here. We are? It's a little risky here. Lots of dunes. And if you don't see tracks, you can't go. No way. Oh, it's wild. Yeah. Oh, there, there's a car. There's this car probably. I think that's him. That's probably him right there. So we're waiting for our guide, our Bedouin guide. He 
was gonna come up here, but no signal. Woo! We did it. I'm starving. I'm Almost starving. 1 p.m. Salam alaikum. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. You good? Salam alaikum. So we're champion, better. How are you doing? For 24 hours, I mean now it's like 18 hours through the desert. Alright, let's get back in the car. We're going to like where the campsite is. There we're going to cook up some food. Can't wait. Better win food in Oman. This guy knows the desert, huh? Yeah, man. It's his place. He I know. barefoot as well, like, that's his place, man. This is the real experience. There's a few, you know, hotels in the area, but this is what you need to do, right? Come yeah. out here, experience like this. So there's a campsite right here. Yep. Oh, this is nice. I can't wait. He has six different tents over here. I'm guessing you have a bathroom, right? And the kitchen. And the kitchen. And then over there we have our little, Azba. our little dining hall. Or Azba. Azba. Yes, it's a place where you can sit down and you don't have a cover in the front. Amazing, look at this. Wow, love it. This is incredible. And right here you can just post up when sun sets, right? You can just lay down right here. Yeah. Wow, the heat. And right here we have one of the tents, right? Beautiful, three beds, so sleeps three. It's hot in here though. Really absorbs the heat. He was telling me 6.30 in the morning, we're gonna wanna get out. <laughs> it's gonna be too hot. Yeah, you like it. I love it, I love Authentic it. Authentic experience. Authentic. Well, if you're addicted to your phone, get ready. No service out here. No service out here. It's fine. It's fine for 24 hours. My family knows I'm safe. This is awesome, got some water, got some coffee, some massive oranges, some apples, and you chill, look at that. Just traditional style, right? And some people uh, w want to, you know, sleep under the sky here, right here. He just told me that the people that were uh, behind us or before us, they did not uh, sleep in the tents. They slept outside. Wow. Just to experience the weather at night. I get a little nervous for scorpions and rattlesnakes, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Making fire. Wow. It's 1 p.m. We started our fire right here. And this is where we're gonna make our food. We're gonna cook lunch. So he's just breaking up some branches, starting a big fire. Ooh, between the sun and the heat here, it's way too hot. So how long have you lived out here in the desert? Your whole life, uh, but you moved. All lives. Oh, I was born here. You're born but, here. Uh, I stay in this area around 15 years. 15 years. Because yeah. we stopped moving because of the dryness. Okay. So that's why we have to be near the building to bring everything. And he told me you went to university, right? Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Colleague in Sur. In Sur. Yeah. This is an experience for me. Thank you so much. You're Appreciate sure. it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. This is great. Okay. Woo! You're burning your hand, burning your feet, burning your hand. This guy's wild. So, what are we eating today? Surprise, surprise? Uh, rice with uh, chicken. Rice and chicken, perfect. So, next up, he's gonna clean the rice. Spasmati rice. Yes. The best. What's next? Next, we have to, go to, uh, to cut the vegetables. Do you have any chili? I don't think so. The desert doesn't like chili? No, not that much. Uh, I know, I've been to a few desert places. They don't like chili. Well, it seems like the Bedouin don't like it. <laughs> so what's he going to do with the rice? He said he's going to put it with the chicken, right? Right. With the, he's going to mix it all together. Better you're going to do kapsa, right? Yes. Yes. So kapsa is a style where you put all the vegetables, rice and chicken together and cook it in with the chicken stock. And it all mixes all together. you love it. Kapsa. Yes. Kapsa, Omani style. Yes. So what are you taking out? Just the excess? Yes. I won't lie. I don't know how he's doing this right now. It is so hot. Yeah, it's Oh, and he was walking around barefoot earlier. Barefoot. And my feet. Oh, you have to like dig them. Oh, dig it deep. Ooh. Some salt and that's it. Nice onions. I personally like the red onion the most. Regular onion. What do you mean, the white one? I don't like the white one compared to the red. Next we got the garlic. Mm -hmm. Love garlic. Just cut the top of the tomato and he cleaned it. So it's like garlic cloves, right? That's it? Mm -hmm. So now he's chopping up the potatoes. Next, the red onion. Mm, so tasty. I love vegetables. Chop up that tomato. Nice juicy tomato. 
So there he just added all the veggies into the delicious chicken with the broth. Ooh, it's so hot. So this is dry Omani lemon. So they dry the lemon. Looks almost black, right? It just cracks it. So what are you doing? I choose a good one to put it there and the leaves, I leave it away. Okay, and you're gonna put that into the pot? Yes. So he just added the dried lemon. Oh, so tasty, I just had a bite of it. So good. And then the Omani masala, so just a mix of spices, right? Yes. Wow, the aroma now, phenomenal. So how long left? 20 minutes, but you're gonna add the, the rice, right? You gonna try that, huh? Ooh. You want to try? Of course. Hey. I'm gonna try the broth. It's too hot, right? It's too hot. Gotta wait a little bit. Try. Try it? Yes. Alright, let's see how hot it is. Mmm. Oh, it's amazing. Mmm, like yeah. And that lime, you can taste it right away. Oh, what a broth. Mmm. Ooh, chicken broth. Omani style. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. That's exactly what I'm about to do, man. Like, it's amazing. Mmm, no chance of chicken inside? You taste the lemon zest right away. Mmm. Should you see? Now that it's covered, we're gonna wait 20 minutes. It's gonna be ready and we're gonna eat. I'm ready. Can't wait. Oh, my friend, so we're gonna do some coffee, right? Yes. And this looks like meat, but it's not. It's dates. It's uh, dates, yes. Okay, so how do we start? This one. Just try one? Uh, right hand. Right hand, right hand. Yeah. <laughs> you got me, you got me. I know, I know, I know. Okay. So you just match together. What's okay. Oh, it smells great. Mmm. Nice like and sweet. Mm-hmm. So basically you just mashed all this together, right? Yes, and we add some cumin, cumin inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to give it uh, another taste. Mm-hmm. Taste. Mm. Oh the cumin. Yes. Not good. Mmm. And try it with coffee. Mm-hmm. I love with coffee. Mm-hmm. This is one of my favorite coffees on earth. Arabic coffee. You know, light roasted, like cardamom though. Yeah, and saffron. And saffron. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is incredible. So how long have you been doing this? Like, bringing people out here to the desert? Um, um, 10 years. Um, 10 years? Yeah. And how do people book? this experience a uh, friend recommend the friend recommended uh, her friends so they like the i mean to be in this life in real bedouin life mm -hmm. and then they tell them friends yeah i mean this is the real thing right yeah and nomadic and a little bit authentic yeah this is how people lived a thousand years ago yes yes so tasty yeah. with the cumin when it comes yeah, out yeah, yeah. Mm, hits you it's like pungent mm, lots of seeds huh yes and the way it works with the coffee, so when I'm done, I shake it, but I'm not done yet. I need more. Okay. I need to wake up. Mm hmm Oh, this coffee's the best. And it's light. It's not too strong. It doesn't hit you bad, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the, the double espresso, it's like it hits you, feel good for a minute, and then it's like a, yeah. you know? This is medium. Medium. Wow, so tasty. The, like, that aroma coming out. Yeah. Cardamom, cardamom all day. If you don't take this away, I will eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, it's so good. Maybe one more piece. This meal looks phenomenal. Everything you added to it, the spices, the lime. Mm, perfect. You like it, huh? Oh man, these are the best dates I've ever had. With Thank the cumin, yeah. secret, the cumin. Mm -hmm. If we don't smash it, it will be dry. Okay, hard. So it's hard to eat. Exactly. Yeah. Well, my friends, let's enjoy, let's relax. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Chokran. And also tradition, you won't drink coffee until I'm done, right? Yes. Okay, I know so this. I know I've learned, yeah. I've learned, I'm learning, you know. I've already, I've been to, what is my fourth country in the Arabian Peninsula, so. Slowly I'm going to all. Good. Okay. 
And once you're done, you gotta clean your hands. Always rinse your hands, right? Right there, yeah. Okay, so the food's almost ready. He's gonna cover up the fire with some sand. So it's gonna slow cook for an extra few minutes, right? Yep. I control by sun now. I control the fire. Oh, wow. What's the name of this dish again? Kapsa. Kapsa. So now that Kapsa is almost done, right? It's letting it slow cook. How many more minutes? Two. Two, that's it? I'm ready. The aroma coming out of there. <laughs> I know, it's like what, 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm ready to eat. I fasted all day. I'm excited for this dish. Bedouin delicious Kapsa. Kapsa. Oh my gosh. Mmm, flavor right there in the rice. Mm hmm Love the chicken. Ready. There you go. Good. So if it's moist, it needs time. Obviously, you have to get rid of all that moisture. It has to like basically seep in and infuse itself into the rice and the chicken. I'm excited for this one. Dude, all the food I've had in Oman, incredible. Love the spices, man. Smell it so good. Nice chicken. So he's just dressing it up with some lemon and we're ready. All right guys, let's sit down. Let's have this meal. My friends, join me. Let's do it. We ready? Oh. Okay, thank you God for this meal. Let's do it. All right. I need that I some lemon for you. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So do you just break up the chicken? Just like bring it. Ooh, it's still hot. It's Yeah, right? You guys do it that way, huh? It's scorching hot. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Like how, mo how moist it is. You have not dry at all. Not dry at all. You have the potato right here, you just break it, right? <laughs> that potato's hot. <laughs> Dude, I can't even open the chicken yet. Right? Mm. How hot it is? It's amazing. What a dish. It's very different from the other rice dishes we've had, mm. right? The flavors are natural. Yeah. Mm. And it's There's light. There's not much salt in there. No the taste, oil. Taste of the fire also. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no oil, by the way. I don't think you used any oil, right? Mm. No, and it's very light in spices. It's not like too much, right? Just um, very nice basmati rice, chicken, the massage you put in there are light. Mm-hmm. What's hard is keeping the rice within this. Yeah. I'm like messing up here. I'm still. So mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's fantastic. I love it. Mm, I like how you added the lemon to it, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice little bone. Over here to the side. Let's keep going. Remember here, the way you do it. You stay in your section, you keep going to the center, right? Yeah, that's true. Mmm, potatoes. So mushy. Wow, what a dish, huh? And this feeds what? Five people at least? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hot. Well, uh, Ajib, it's mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. It's one of the lighter rice dishes we've had. Mm. Every other one has been way heavier in spices. The, um, not only the spices, but also the oil. Like, the oil. We, we, he really did not use any oil in this one. And like, you're surprised how moist it is, although it's not oil. It's not oil. Ooh. I like how he added the dried lemon. Man, it gives it another dimension. Mm-hmm. What it does, right? I'm trying to break off the chicken while burning my fingers. Mm. You know, it's still that hot. Oh. What a meal. How full are you guys? Man, extremely full. Like, I can't even... I can't. But guys, we finished it. Me and you destroyed it. Well, the chicken's the hard part. Mm -hmm. Actually, the rice should have been the hard part, right? But the chicken is broke. <clears throat> guys, we're going to put on... Our sandals, like that. Woo, it is hot. We're going to the water source here to wash our hands and the plate because you cannot leave a grain of rice here within the camp because we're gonna have flies, 
scorpions, basically any type of animal mm -hmm. that's out here. Snakes. Just come for that little rice, huh? <laughs> Crazy. There is a reason why they pour a quarter a cup so that the guest will take more and more and more and more. If you pull one full, it means that the guest drink and go. But if you pull a quarter, take more and stay more, stay more. Chakran. Have fun. Oh, okay. Just gonna like lay down here, have my coffee. So relaxing. Now we're gonna take like a 20 minute break. Then we're gonna go out into the dunes. We're gonna see the camels, relax. That's it. Chill. But I want to Do I have like 50 cups? One more, please. Yeah. And chocolate. Wow. All right, now we're gonna go see the camels and then we're gonna go on a little tour. Let's go. Short five minute drive and we're here at his camels. These are all his, right? Yep. Guys, look at this. Baby camel right here. My man, how you doing? I'm good, how are you, man? Ready to go, man. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right. Seems like she likes you, man. Yeah, she likes me? Yeah, right, she's gonna like hit me. Look, she can't get too close. Oh, the baby. <gasps> baby camel? Hey, come on, Woo! I'm not gonna bite. So it seems like she likes this kind of stuff, so let's try. Hey, come, come and get it. Now she's eating it. <laughs> Good boy. All right, we're gonna go inside the enclosure. Gotta be careful. Remember, camels kick harder than horses. Okay, let's go inside. Thank you, my friend, thank you. So we're inside the enclosure. Here they got how many? They have nine, 10, right? Beautiful. All right, guys, follow me into the enclosure. Come on, let's feed this beauty. Okay. Wow, look at this animal. So is this a female or male? Female. Female, okay. Gorgeous. Can I get here? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Not gonna bite? No, no. I know sometimes you gotta be careful, right? They get a little aggressive. Look at that. Beautiful teeth. Wow, I guess I'll pick some up. Feed. They don't stop eating. How much do they eat a day? A lot, right? Not too much. Not too much? Well, they don't need a lot of water, right? In summertime, more they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially because the summers here is like 50 degrees. So whatever that is in uh, in Fahrenheit, like 110, 115. So look how beautiful the animal is. Gorgeous. And are these bred here? They're bred here? Like they, the babies here? Yeah. They have babies here. Okay, perfect. I'll just show you the body, right? So this is the one hump, right? Two humps. That's Central Asia. One hump, Arabia. Beautiful. You gotta be careful. Look, look. He's just like, he's like what are you doing? I'm enjoying your beautiful hair. Oh, full of sand. <laughs> oh, yes. David. It's called, it's called Mayas. Mayas. Hey, Mayas. Mayas, don't worry. Mayas won't hurt you. Come here. She, she's seeing everybody surround her. She's like, Mayas. what's happening? Hi. Beautiful. <laughs> she's really beautiful. Though. Yeah, she is. She's gorgeous. She's tall, huh? Yeah. So what is she like? Uh, she's almost three meters, at least. Oh my God, her teeth right in front of me. It's scary because she could literally just take a bite of my eye. <laughs> but she's friendly. Yeah, she's friendly. This is what he means when her lips are no. Look, her lips are uh, not contracted. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's on the that, that's the uh, target every day to make her lips like that. I'll tell you, the baby is the cutest thing of all time right here. It's like my height, right? And she's with the mom. The mom protects her. Man, chokran. Chokran. Thank you so much. Enjoy with us. I loved it, man. I loved it. He's awesome, man. He's been with that camel since she was three days old. She loves him. That's why she's like, whatever, do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Provoke me. Ready? So what are we doing? Um, we're uh, desert bashing, man. We're going through the dunes. Doom bashing is gonna be amazing. You gotta be really careful. Seatbelt on, right? 100% because we're gonna go up and down and up and down and around. Yeah, everybody on. They gotta put on the seatbelt. Well. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Safety first. Let's go. Safety first. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Relax. Relax what, dude? Yeah. You're good, you're good. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Break, but... Don't worry, don't worry. Just break. No, we're good, we're good. No, I don't think we should break. No, you don't break. You just go. You don't break, yeah. Don't break. You just go. You go, 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 go. It's fine. Oh, no. 
Dude, it's like vertical almost. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Yeah, they just gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. I mean, the dunes get bigger and bigger over there. Oh. All right. It's like cliffs, huh? No. Go, 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 Fast, 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 fast. Uh oh. We got stuck. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Feels like we're falling. We're just gonna slide down, right? Slip and slide? Oh, man. Increase, increase. Be fast, be fast, be fast. You have to increase, if not you get stuck. Yeah, yeah. Just follow him. Yeah, there we go, he's there. Keep going, keep going. Right, we made it. Whoa, look at that one. We're going oh, up and no. oh yeah. Oh, oh no, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's going down it. Yeah, I'm just gonna see where he lands. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you have to go so fast go because you're not gonna get really stuck. He's like, you go down. So you gotta follow, you gotta follow. Down, down, down. Oh, Go go, yeah, go, 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 go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. I don't know how much you can break. Oh, oh. Woo! Woo -hoo! Hold on, hold on. It's <laughs> good, cool, guys. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 520. We're done dune bashing. We're gonna go back to the camp. We're gonna relax for like an hour. We're gonna have a barbecue and then go to sleep. Absolutely. Right? Just chill? It's about time, man. Oh, yeah. Time to relax. Let's go. I need some water. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I need a lot of water. It's so hot in here. Okay, guys. So, the sun is setting. As you can see, it's cooler. The ground is not hot anymore. We don't need our slippers. Wow. What a difference, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Wow. Dude, this is the spot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at this. We're doing it right here. Incredible, all the dunes everywhere. Hey, this is a spot. Dude, what a sunset, huh? And we have the camp all to ourselves. We have the dunes behind us, sunset. It just dropped easily like 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, it feels much cooler right now. So much cooler. Yeah. Bring a sweater, bring a sweater. Definitely, blanket. Blanket, let's go back, have some water. Let's start our barbecue, right? Let's go. Barbecue time. Wow, man, stunning. The sun, the dunes. Glad you like it, man. man. I love this place. Love it. It's 7 p.m. and uh, it's getting late. We gotta start cooking dinner. We're doing something very special tonight. Let's go. Okay, so there's something very special. So we're gonna do some smashing. It's lamb, right? We're doing lamb? Yes, we do lamb. Okay. So what's next? So what's next? We have some meat. We clean it up. We rinse it with some water. And now it's time to just put it in the pot. We're throwing in some spices. Spices, yes, we have some spices here to put in. So we have some cardamom, cloves, black peppers. This is curd leaves. Guys, they're digging a hole. What's this hole for? Ah, this hole is, uh, we're gonna light some fire here. We keep it hot a little bit. And then we'll put this one here afterwards so we can beat the rice. You beat the rice? Yes, rice and meat all together. Next up, he's gonna add some rocks to the very bottom, huge rocks, and that like helps the heat stay and maintain in there while they add the pot and then they're gonna beat it. Okay. Chicken legs that we're gonna marinate with Omani spices. So Omani spices, what is that? Just a mix of masala? So it's a mix of, it's gonna be, um, you know, it's gonna be tamarind sauce, it's gonna be some- A lot uh, of garlic. A lot of say. garlic. Yes. That's what I'm gonna say. There's a lot of garlic, some red chili flakes, powdered and some red uh, uh, black pepper as well some salt some a lot of vinegar i would be honest with you and some spices mixed spices i would say the lamb's cooked now we're gonna add the rice the meat is really cooked and we added just the rice now so we're gonna make wait for about 30 minutes and we get the uh, rice mashed next up he's gonna add the chicken onto the grill the chicken is ready so what we should do now is just, just to take it, like to taste it now. From there? Yeah. All right, let's just put it like this. All right, it's ready. What do you think? Probably. What do you think? Mmm. Tasty. Tasty, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, nice and charred. Look at it's still super juicy. Oh, they're flaming. Mmm. Cheers, bro. Oh, dude, cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Another masala. 
Mm. Dude, yeah, it, it tastes very good with the barbecue, mm -hmm. right? Oh man, mm. love the smoking. Super amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. This is our appetizer. <laughs> mm. Enjoy. Before the main dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. Yeah. So it's almost like a, I would say like almost like a risotto with lamb, right? It's like a mashed potato kind of thing, but it's it's mixed up with the meat. The meat is mashed with it, so it has a flavor of rice mixed with meat, which is lamb meat, and uh, a little bit of fats. Yeah, that's what you like about. So he just moved the pot over to the hole. He covered up all the amber with sand, and now they're gonna mash it. Right? Yes, absolutely, man. We're gonna wait for a couple of seconds. So we're gonna keep it a little bit hot because the, the, the area, the whole area, the surrounding area is hot already. So we're gonna keep it a little bit hot. After almost like four hours, we're almost there. Only a little bit left and we're ready. We're almost there, man, we're almost there. Oh, it smells amazing. Is that aroma? Okay, now we're just gonna add the salmon. Basically, yeah. And lastly, we're gonna add some liver curry right on top. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, earthy, creamy, delicious. Absolutely, man. All right, David, it's ready to eat. Let's yes. go. Okay, so how do we do it? Just go in? Dig in with your hand, man. Okay. Right. Oh, it's still super hot. Nice and mushy. It feels almost like, um, man, like mashed potatoes, but thick, you yeah. know? Yeah. And you have that liver, ooh. Yes, put it together, mm -hmm. and... Mmm. Mmm. Wow, how do you like that? Do I love it. Love this curry. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'll see you, man. Very rich. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. It's super thick. Mmm. So just lamb, spices, and rice. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's slow cooked, right? Yeah. Oh, and right here, you got pieces of liver with the chickpeas. Mm-hmm. Mm. The liver, bro. <laughs> For me, liver and kidneys, all organs, my favorites. Wow. It, and this is um traditional dish after eat, right? Yeah. This is basically we have it on a Eid, Eid al-Fatr, Eid al-Adha. Well? Yeah, we do it. It's a must. Mm. Wow. Dude, I love the masalas here. I love how you add it down on top. I mean, if you have it alone, I think it'll be okay. But with that mm, liver curry. Oh, guys, it's still super hot. Different taste. Yeah, well. You guys love eating hot, right? Like super hot? Of course, man. It's a must. <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to eat food when it's cold? No, but this is like boiling, you know? <laughs> it's a little different, right? It just literally came off of being slow cooked. Ooh, on, on that heat. I'm in love with this dish, man. Mm hmm. You know, I'm a big guy. I'm a big fan of, um, it's called oatmeal. It reminds me of it, you know? It's definitely not like a paella. It actually does have risotto resemblances, you know? Just thicker. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Whoa. Looks so thick. Nice and pasty. And all right. Mm hmm. There's more chicken liver, right? Oh, we need more. Definitely, man. Yeah. You can get as much as you want. So this dish is called Orsia. Orsia. Mm hmm. I love the chicken liver aspect here. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Man, Orsia, all in one. Only in one. All in one. All right, guys, go in. Dig in, guys. This is how you eat in Oman. Mm. It's really filling, huh? It's to fill your belly. Of What's course, man. It's really good. Oh, Bro, mm. I'm feeling the heat now, right? Yeah. I'm feeling spice. Whew, yeah. That liver. That curry was really spicy, though. Oh, I can eat all that curry right now. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, I hit a wall already. Like, that is a very, very thick. I mean, you eat a bunch of this. Just a big blob of goo inside you, you know? Nah, you're alright. <laughs> you guys done? Yeah, we're done. One, one. 
that's it. You guys good? <laughs> Time to wrap it up. <laughs> it's so dark out here. I wish you guys can see what I'm seeing right here. Look at this. The sky. Almost no light pollution. I can see hundreds and thousands of stars. All right, David, it's time to sleep. Come check out your tent. It's amazing. Wow. That's it, man. Just two beds and a table. That's all you need, yeah? Incredible day, once in a lifetime experience here in Oman. It's midnight, I'm going to bed. I'll see you at sunrise. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Walaikum assalam. Oh, it's 7.30 in the morning. If you want to see the sunrise, wake up at 5.30, it rises at 6. So unfortunately, we missed it, but yesterday was an incredible experience, 24 hours in the Omani Desert with a Bedouin and his friends. What did we do yesterday? Well, we drove in two and a half hours from Muscat. When we got here, we came straight to this camp. The, the Bedouin was waiting for us, and he made for us the white kapsa from start to finish. Chicken and rice with delicious lime. So then after that, we went sand dune bashing. We saw the camels. We came back for dinner. So we made or which is like lamb and rice mashed together and then they added a delicious super spicy liver curry on top with chickpeas fantastic dish that's usually eaten during Eid. Eid, yeah basically exactly right yeah. it's and a then, must it's a must it's a must it is delicious it's filling and then went to sleep super peaceful woke up and look at this guys how beautiful is this desert right now well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content, and I'll see you the next travel food adventure somewhere in Oman. And I'm still asleep. Let's right, go. Let's go. Man. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from the beautiful coastal city of Sur in Oman, about a two and a half hour drive east of Muscat. Today I'm going to be taking you to explore this beautiful city. Look, behind me we have the lighthouse, around us we have multiple forts, and we're going to go eat some seafood, Omani seafood, at this restaurant right here. So, what do we know about Sur? So, um, Sur is one of the historic places and cities that we have in Oman, right? So it's famous. Back in the, the day, um, a lot of fishermen here, they make boats here, they make the dows. It's like a unique kind of looking uh, boat, I would say, or ship. And uh, trade, man, trade. A lot of trade goes through Sur itself. So, um, huge place, huge city, beautiful city. I think it's worth covering. And during the 16th century, this was one of the most important ports in Oman for the trade route to East Africa. Now let's go to this restaurant and let's eat some seafood. Al Hosh restaurant. Al Hosh. Yes. Al Hosh restaurant. It's like the backyard. It's right here. Al Hosh. Let's go inside. Oh, wow, beautiful. So it's like a traditional house, right? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. I love the ceilings. You have all the flags of Oman. You know the Sultan, right here. Oh, the food's right there. Look at that. Yeah. Hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? We're hungry. Right here they have a map of Oman, so that's Oman. And right here is where we are, we're like somewhere in here. I can't understand it right now because it's in Arabic. As soon as you walk into the restaurant on the right, they have fresh fish. So what type of fish are these? So there are three types of uh, sea fish right here. You can see uh, there's kofar. Okay. There's one of uh, the snappers right here. It's called sha'ri. Okay. All right, and it's one of the best uh, fish that locals want to eat. Oh wow, and look at this. And he then, brought lobster. Yeah. Beautiful lobster. So it's like a smaller lobster, right? Yeah. It's called Sharkha here. And uh, the big one is called the mother of Sharkha. All right? All right, guys, we got kitchen access. Let's go inside. Oh, yes, yeah, so where are we going? This way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, lobster. Fantastic. Some more fish. And look at that, guys. We have calamari. Beautiful. All baked, very nice. Oh, it smells so good. And right here we have some mussels. Yeah. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am for these dishes. He's gonna give us a little bit of everything. Probably gonna try some lobster, some calamari, some shrimp, maybe some rice, of course rice. My man, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. This is tuna. Huh? Yeah. This is tuna fish. This tuna. This. So right here we have tuna with Omani spices, right? Nice chilies. Is that aroma? I would eat this raw, just like that. It looks fantastic. It looks like dried tuna 
with Omani spices and chilies. So he's gonna bake it. He's gonna fry it. Oh, he's gonna fry it. Okay, okay, great. Ooh, my man, I need to eat everything. Thank you. Everything. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Fantastic. And what do we have here? French fries, got the fried tuna. Next, we're gonna see them fillet a kingfish. Okay, this is it. Huge fish, huh? No, this is a uh, shetty. I don't know exactly what shetty is, but it's a big fish right here. <laughs> Gotta stay away from this. As soon as I get too close to the fish, you can feel the scales just pop up in the air. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fillet it. Beautiful. Right there down the spine. Mm -hmm. So he does a good cut right there. So once he's done taking off the scales, he guts it, takes out all the organs, then he cleans it really rough, cleans it, cleans it, cleans it, cleans it with water, and then he puts some slits. All right, let's go bake the fish. Wow, so he's bringing some masala, huh? That's Omani masala on that beautiful fish. He rubbed that fish with tons of masala. It looks so good, nice, creamy, yellowy masala. He threw it in to bake. It's gonna be there probably for like 20 minutes. Then it'll be ready. And now we're gonna see how some meat is made. Oh yes, kebab, Omani kebabs. And right here we have the mixed grill. So we have some vegetables, we have french fries, we have so chicken kebab and we have beef kebab. Okay, I think that's good. Being too close to this fire, I'm melting. I'm literally melting, look at my face. <laughs> oh, he's gonna throw some more back on? Chicken. Chicken. What's happening here? Oh, is that the lamb? Yeah. So this is lamb that's been like in the pressure cooker. Wow, that lamb. Oh, yes. Oh. I can't wait to try everything. We got calamari. We have some fish. We have some beef, some chicken, and some lamb, plus rice. I'm excited, guys. Is this plate for me? Yeah. That's for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I just tried one of those calamaris. A little spicy. Nice yeah. masala, right? So then we have a kingfish, we have mussels, and we have another fish. This is kingfish. Uh, this is hamur, filet. Hamur. This is mussel. He just added cheese to that lobster. Who's that for? <laughs> for me? My man, you're the man. Thank you. you are the man. And then the lobster's ready. He's going to lay it on top. Wow. Salt Bay. <laughs> My man, I am so happy. This is going to be the best. Seafood in Oman in Sur. Wow. Now we're going to eat this feast. This is the best. Guys, you have no idea what we're about to eat. We're about to eat the best seafood ever. All right. You have no idea. Let's do it. So there's three different sections to this restaurant. Traditional style inside, huge spot. They also have indoor seating and then they have the terrace. We're sitting here at the terrace. Omani Seafood, are you ready? I'm extremely ready, man. Like, look at this beautiful play over here. Look at this. Like, man. <laughs> Okay. We have lobster, we have shrimps, we have uh, calamari, calamari, mussels, mussels, um, kingfish. So two fish, and right? Grouper. Yeah, grouper. Yeah. We have four rice dishes. We have two salads. So I think we should just dive in here. I, I couldn't really pull it out with the fork, so I just grabbed it. I'm gonna grab one. Yeah. Oh, it's still a little hot. Leave it to the oh, side for a sec. It's very hot. Just like. I think. Let's add for a metal calorie. Here. Ooh. Ready? Thanks. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mmm. Mm. The masala. The you can cheese. Taste the sea. No, you can taste the sea, yeah. It's amazing. Oh amazing. wow. I'm getting I'm getting some hints of spice too. And the calamari does have some masala. Yeah man, it looks good as well. Let me see. Mmm. Let's do a bit of this. All over it? All over it. Everything, right? It's seafood, man. Let's get rid of it's some of the, the extra stuff, right? right. Beautiful. <clears throat> Oh, look at those mussels, man. Mussels right now. And so you didn't see it, but they baked everything with masalas, like the Omani masala. The Omani right? masala, that's nice. Yeah. yeah, nice spice mix. Not too spicy, just right, right? Lots of salt and pepper. Oh, that's so creamy. It's creamy. It falls apart. Mm -hmm. I'm a big muscle guy. I can have like 200 of these. They're super meaty. Right? Mine is super fresh, right? Yeah. I just pure masala right there. Mm, it tastes so good. So good. Lots of lime. Perfect. So right here we have kingfish, right? Yes, this is kingfish. And kingfish always has a spine in the middle, so we take that spine out into the side. 
get some of these bones, right? And then you just go in and grab a nice yeah, fillet, right? Mm. Mm hmm. No, I'm kingfish. Oh, kingfish. It really is king of fish. Oh, wow. Mmm. It's like meaty. There's a chunk to it. It's buttery. It's meaty. The masala is what makes all this seafood. Yeah. Like, it's very unique to this area, right? Yep. So, again, East Africa was the trade route here. Yep. Obviously, India to here, and then from here to East Africa. Yep, exactly. Mmm. Oh, and this, the calamari right here. And that's the unique thing about Sur, right? Mm -hmm. So it's location, and then the access to the ocean and all the seafood. This is where they started building the Dao's which by the way, we're going to see you later. Okay. So, um, good experience. Yeah, I mean, the best thing on earth is to eat seafood while you're looking at the sea. Yeah. Like, literally right there, we have the breeze coming in. Oh. You can taste the salt water. Man, too much food here. I think this is cooler now. We can just dive in here. Grab some of that. Nice cheese. Mm hmm. Mm. Love the lobster. So everything here is local. Yeah. Right. And then over here, so this is the different. This is the grouper, right? Yep. This is grouper. Is it? I think no. Grouper, grouper is, is right here. here. Oh, so this is all kingfish. Yeah. There's more kingfish. Oh my god! This guy went over a little for us, yeah. huh? Mm. Mm. Grouper right here. Mm. Man, I'm still like. Dude. The grouper melted. It's so soft. I mean, it's a big platter. Mm. That is soft indeed. Mm -hmm. like, so buttery. Oh, it's buttery. Pull it apart as you pull it up like this. Is this uh, so this is our first time trying seafood in Oman. Or my first time. How do you like it so far? It's just like hitting me in the face how good it is, you know? Wow. The, the mussels, seriously. The mussels. Love them. Let's be some lime in them. For me, the best here is the kingfish. Kingfish. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I love it. Mm. Oh, wow. I was surprised how the grouper is very soft, man. The grouper is extremely soft. Yeah. You know what it is? It's the way they baked it, yeah. right? Process the process. The freshest seafood you're gonna get, right? Yeah. I don't even need salad or rice. Yeah, you don't. I just need you seafood. How you enjoying it? Mm-hmm. They're really nice. Mm-hmm. So, what's your favorite? I like the grouper a lot. I like the mussels a lot. Mm-hmm. Stingfish is amazing. Lobster is pretty good. I'm surprised there's no shrimps in here. I thought there is some. No, 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 no shrimp. Mm. So you just gotta move some of this decoration out the way. And look how much calamari there is. Mm. 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 So like most of the spices, we get them whole and then we process them here in Oman. And like the, the mix itself is like what's different compared to India. One last bite of fish and let's jump on some rice. We're not leaving any of this. Mm. Mm. Okay, next up we have two different rice dishes. This is the biryani. Throw in the sauce. Just throw it on top. Get your fish. Oh, get fish too. Yeah, of course, man. So pull out some fish. Give me some of the kingfish. Chili. Another one. Okay. So this is a veg biryani, right? Yep. But then we added the fish, so it's not veg anymore. Vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. Oh, you can just throw more stuff in here, right? Is that? Yeah, man. Oh, great, great rice dish. I'm glad you spices. How <clears throat> oh, were you able to eat, like, a lot of this chili, man? Mm. It's really spicy. I know, it's super spicy. I actually had one of these chilies earlier. I melted for, like, half an hour. Yeah, he did. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. I'm gonna throw some more of this on top, right? With that? Yeah, man. Oh man, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting hot here. Yeah, this is some spicy chili, man. Mm -hmm. Crazy spice. And over here, we have like a mango, almost like a mango smoothie, right? Yeah. Definitely calms down the heat. 
Mm hmm Nice, thick. Yep. That's almost like a mango lassi, actually. I don't think there's milk in it, though. No? Add the calamari, because the masala, the cream masala mixed with the rice, it makes it like a glue. A little bit more fish. Yeah, you have more Do fish. Do you eat meat? Yeah. Are you going to eat rice? Uh, yeah, but... <coughs> I'm not really excited for it. You're not excited about the rice? The rice is great. And here, in Oman, if you don't eat rice with your meal, you didn't have a meal. Yep. Right? Especially when it's lunch. Wow. I'm helping Dennis. Sorry, man, this chili. Mm. I'm gonna test positive for COVID now. No. It actually will kill COVID. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. In a place. Oh, you just dropped this in here? No. Move it to the other side. I give you a fish. <laughs> so this is how you do it, right? Whip. Just like that. You have a nice combination, right? You got the masalas, you have the fish, you have the calamari, as well as some lime. So I guess we'll leave the salad for later. <laughs> yeah. People start with the salad. You know what? I'll just grab some salad. Oh, nice. Amazing arugula. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mmm, pomegranate. Mm-hmm. And you guys just grab like that, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this, guys. So fresh. David, I've made a huge mistake in my life. I've always been missing out on calamari. I hated it for no reason. It is so nice and beautiful and clean. Mm. It tastes so good, man. I've been missing out. If you want to properly eat, you gotta eat with your hand. Of course. If you just want to like snack on something. Exactly. I mean, you know, the utensils, that gives you metallic flavor. And also, people have used the same metallic. Thousands of people have eaten it. Yeah, that is Our true. hands, we're born with it, right? Yep. Let's do it. Ready? Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Alright, that was good. That was really good. This restaurant. I, I know you're having different kind of rice, mm -hmm. but my, the rice I'm having, the kabuli rice, so good. I'm sorry, this is the last bite, literally. No, no, I'm joking. You, you <laughs> eat, bro. <laughs> I'll say, when you come to Sur, this is the only place that you eat at. For real? Is it? Nothing else. My friend. Welcome, my friend. Chokran, chokran. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Best seafood in Oman, right here in Sur. Thank you. We appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Chakran, chakran. This owner is amazing. So nice. He didn't let us pay. He is just too much. Yeah, man. Omani hospitality. So we're going next. Next, we're going to see the Dao area, man, where they build all the boats. So if you guys don't know where the Dao is, that's a traditional boat they have in the UAE. They have it here as well. And here we go, the Dows, right? Yeah. Beautiful boats. So this is where they make them, huh? All over here. So there's fishermen on this side, fishermen over here. So I'm guessing this is fisherman housing, right? Could be, yep. Could be fisherman housing. Could be like just like what they gather when they go and collect the fish, bring it back here, sort it out, have some coffee, you know? The weekend, it's Saturday. So no one's here working. So what we're gonna do is just climb up one of these boats and just check it out really quick. All right, so let me tell you about a Dao. Basically, a Dao was built to transport spices between India, you know, Arabia, and Africa. And this is it. Whew. This is obviously 21st century Dao, a little different, but still built in the same shape, right? You know, you have the compartment here. It's almost like a fishing boat where you throw all the fish straight into it. You have the engine, you have where the captain stays, and then basically that's it, right? There's no like, uh, these don't have housing, right? Literally, they just sleep on the side. So, please don't do this when you come here. Obviously, right now there's no one, so I wanted to show you, but don't climb the dowels. Just check them out from below and come. Let me show you something cool. So, if you come over here, you can see this dowel and this dowel are very different, right? Well, yeah, this one's just, it hasn't been built yet. This one's almost complete. And if you come all the way to the end, you can see one of the many towers. It's not a fortress, there are towers right there. You got fishermen here, you got the bridge, you also have a mosque, 
you have more fishermen. I mean, the setting here is incredible. The beautiful mountain range. Love how the sea just comes in here. And that's basically it. Let's go see if we can see a fortress. Follow me. Incredible engineering, huh? Yeah. Engineering masterpieces right here behind us. So they've been doing this since the 16th century, from my understanding. Yes, yes. So Oman, Omanis has been known for their uh, uh, craft of making ships and, uh, you know, going fishing and going to war and everything. So where to next? So we're going to check out the uh, Sur Fort. Hopefully they're open, we can get inside. There's three forts here in Sur. We're crossing the bridge right now, and as we cross, you can see to the left, two towers, to the right, another tower. Unfortunately, they're closed, can't go up to them, but you can still see them very beautiful. It really changes the, the landscape of the area, right? So white, lush, and that's, I guess, Portuguese influence, that correct? That is Portuguese influence, kind of, yeah. And now, we, so we crossed over, you can see Sur to the right, and over here we have mountains, beautiful coastline. I mean, this is amazing. It is lovely, man. Check it out, like, it's such a beautiful city. Okay, so we made it here to the fort, and uh, unfortunately this fort's completely in ruins. Like, completely, it's leveled. Well, that's a shame. It's unfortunate, but that's it, right? That's the fort. All right, let's get back in the car. Is there another one? Yep. Another one? Okay, at least we have another one to see because this is uh, pretty depressing. <laughs> so what's the other one we're going to? So uh, we're going to the castle. Castle. Now we're at the fort. Let's check it out. Oh, so maybe we can enter, right? Maybe. No, it's closed. It's closed. It's closed. Fort, you know? This is Balaj Sur Castle, the number one attraction to see in Sur. Unfortunately for us, it is Saturday. They are closed. But it's beautiful, right? 19th century castle made out of uh, mud and stone, and there's four towers, right? Yes. So the, usually those castles and forts, they're designed with four main towers on each corner, and then six meters long walls. Yep, this one was built in the 19th century, and uh, mainly for um, defense purposes against um, some wars back in the day. And not only that, it was used also for festivals, for markets, used as a prisons, like all the sheikhs, all the high uh, individuals over here in, in Sur area, they would all gather here back in the 19th century, multiple uses in one single fort. So that's it guys, you know, we have a surprise for you. We're driving one hour north towards Muscat to a sinkhole. Absolutely. Let's go. The desert was amazing, but this road right here is outstanding. So beautiful. On the right, we have the Arabian Sea. To the left, we have mountains and just hills and hills of mountains. Incredible. Yeah, man, this is one of the most beautiful routes here in Oman. It's lovely. It's going to go all the way to Muscat, but like not all the way. But most of it is going to be like that. Beach and mountains, and you're driving in between. I love it. Stunning. All right, guys, we made it to the sinkhole. Let's go. This is how we got Najam, Sinkhole Park. Visiting time from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Bring your bathing suit. Assalamu alaikum, how's everything good? Hey, hello, hello, how are you? Everything good? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This place looks beautiful, can't wait to see it. So it's a sinkhole between mountains and sea. So man, we got two stories behind the sinkhole, yeah? So one of them is uh, a scientific one, and one of them is uh, kind of what the locals tell each other. So um, that one is that a meteorite actually is what created this crater, which now it's a sinkhole. There's a lot of water uh, in it and like you can swim. It's beautiful. The water is salty, so it comes from the ocean. And uh, the scientific one is that is this a sinkhole man that salt water interacted with the rock and dissolved all the rock. So the land fell and you're gonna see it now coming up close. These stairs are very steep. The, dude, yeah, the stairs. Coming back up is not going to be fun, man. It's like they're super steep. Yeah. Whoa. It's exhausting because it's so steep. Yeah, you got to jump. Like, yeah, yeah, you're literally it's jumping. Just <laughs> normal stairs, man. And this is it, right? Beautiful, clear water. Super deep, right? Dude, it's extremely deep. Like if you jump from over there, mm -hmm. you're not going to hit floor. Yeah, so people do that? People do that. So they go diving. I've never done it. That's intense. You want to do it? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> right now, it's already five. You know, the rest of the people here, they're just like literally just walking in, they're not really swimming, it's getting colder, right? Yeah. And that was the day, right? We saw Sur, we had an incredible seafood, 
Omani Seafood Feast. Lunch was great. Lunch was yeah, amazing. And then after that, we checked out the forts, and now we're at the sinkhole. Yeah, we saw the Dao as well. And yeah, I mean, if you want to go to Sur, definitely go there early in the morning, get there by 11, see a few things. You know, they also have a souk. If you want to do that, you can do that as well. See the guys making the Dao's. Unfortunately, they weren't actually doing it at that moment. And you also have a bunch of little um, towers around the old town, the surveillance right? Surveillance towers, yeah. Surveillance towers, lighthouse. I mean, beautiful place, a must visit when you're in Oman. Only a two and a half hour drive from Muscat. And on the way down, you can come here. There's also a few wadis in the area. And yeah, that is Sur, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Muscat. I need some street food, bro. Let's go. Mishka. Get going. Mishka. It's time. <laughs>